The NIA has now officially taken full control over the airport beheading probe. Two more associates of Mohammed Riaz and Gauss have been arrested and the investigators are now probing a Pakistani link into the brutal murder. Here's a look. Kanaya Lal's butchers, Mohammed Riaz and Mohammed Goos, fleeing on their motorcycles moments after beheading the tailor in Udaipur, Rajasthan. The time is 6.23 p.m. on the 28th of June and they're fleeing on their black bike. Another video shows absolute panic on the streets as shopkeepers rush to shut their shops. This is the bike that the killers used to flee from there. The number plate reads 2611. Mohammad Riyaz and Mohammad Goos paid 5,000 rupees reportedly to get this special vehicle registration number suggestive of the Mumbai terror attack. Meanwhile, the Udaipur district and Sessions Court has transferred the Kanaya Lal murder case investigation to the National Investigation Agency. The anti-terror squad has also arrested two more persons, Mohsin and Asif, who have been sent to 14 days judicial custody. इन जो दो मेन मुख्य आरोपी पकड़े गए हैं उनके साथ इस घटना की तैयारी में इस घटना का सरेंडर करने में और इस घटना को अंजाम देने में इनका एक्टिव रोल रहा है इसके आधार पे इनको इस प्रकरण में लिया गया But anger against the beheading is only growing मुमकिन हो तो स्पेशल कोर्ट्स के अंदर उनका ट्राई करना चाहिए ताकि जल्द अज जल्द उनकी सजा दी जा सके the manner in which Kanaya Lal has been brutally slaughtered and murdered is indeed worrisome and raises several serious questions against the Rajasthan government. All, all parties should unite and think, uh, chart out a strategy that these sort of incident doesn't occur and as a consequence doesn't disturb, disturb the social fabric of this country. As Udaipur remains tense, the IT ministry has asked social media platforms to remove all content that encourages, glorifies or justifies the brutal murder. With Arvind Oja in Udaipur, Bureau Report, India Today. Devankar Vadavan is now joining us for all the very latest. Dev, uh, what's going on and where does this investigation stand as far as the Udaipur beheading is concerned at the moment? Well, uh, Chaiti, at this point in time, it seems that the NIA and Rajasthan ATS are at loggerheads. The Rajasthan ATS has issued a note last night mentioning that, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the published details which uh, are attributed to the NIA, which mentions that uh, there seems to be no terror angle in this entire case. Mm -hmm is premature. Uh, it is too soon to comment that because uh, the investigations are at a preliminary stage. So it, mm. it is quite apparent that uh, the Rajasthan ATS believes that there can be a terror angle in this entire matter. Uh, as far as the investigation is concerned, even the NIA is working uh, on several, you know, uh, clues and links which could establish that this is a much wider module than uh, what was initially uh, thought to be. Uh, the fact that uh, already four arrests have been made in the case, including the two main accused, that is uh, Mohammad uh, Riaz and Goss Mohammed. It seems that they were supported by several other people. The recce had happened. And as far as the NIA is concerned, it is trying to piece together for how long the recce was going on, for how long uh, the, you know, the entire modus operandi to carry out this beheading in the most brutal and horrific manner was being planned and who all are involved in this. And it is trying to piece all of those uh, clues together so that once that is established, perhaps the NIA would want to take all the accused to Delhi to subject them to intensive interrogation in the matter. JP? Absolutely. And uh, what about the tw uh, sensational 2611 link to the uh, entire uh, case as well? What are we picking up on that front? Well, even, you know, the NIA is trying to find out, was it something which was, uh, which, which clearly points out towards the radicalization of, of the youth, uh, 
you know, it, it's being mentioned that, uh, that 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 bike, the number that was taken from the regional transport office uh, was taken nine years ago. So uh, they cannot, you know, really say that uh, this was something which was done post Nupur Sharma comments. Uh, so clearly at this point in time, the NIA believes that the radicalization had happened much before and is trying to find out more details about it. Uh, as far as the 2611 bike is, uh, number bike is concerned, that bike was used by uh, both uh, Riyaz Mohammed and Goss Mohammed to flee from uh, Udaipur and they were caught in Rajsaman's bheem uh, by, uh, by Rajsaman police and once they were caught, uh, we have been told that they were brutally, they were badly thrashed by the police before uh, they were uh, taken into custody and they were trying to flee from there even inside the court, uh, the accused mentioned when they were asked by the uh, by the judge as to how uh, they seemingly sustained injuries. They mentioned that they were trying to run away and while running away and before... Hold on right there, we're getting some breaking news coming in. The court is transferred, Udaipur case files to the NIA court, all accused to be produced in NIA courts now. That's the latest coming in. Dev uh, Vadhavan still continues to be with us. Dev, bring us up to speed. The court has transferred the Udaipur case files now to the NIA court. Uh, get us up to speed with the latest developments that are coming in. So that essentially means, uh, Chaiti, that uh, the NIA can, uh, you know, interrogate them at their will and uh, the judicial custody will be getting over on July 13 and uh, in that duration with transit remand, the NIA can take them to Delhi and if possible, if, if, if it is required to piece together the links of the entire uh, whodunit, the crime whodunit, the, the NIA may take, take them to the different locations in North India. That is also a possibility. Uh, the NIA believes that at this point in time, all these people yeah. uh, were radicalized. There were, uh, there were several modules that were going on. And in fact, they were in, in contact with, uh, with their handler in Pakistan. What we are also told is that they had, these accused had no remorse whatsoever when they were caught. Uh, they were absolutely regretless. They were absolutely remorseless. In fact, Riyaz Mohammed, it was mentioned that did not care uh, what would happen to his family, how, uh, I mean, the kind of uh, humiliation that his, that his family might feel after this thing comes to being. Uh, also, uh, his, his family, including his wife and two children, had to flee on that very particular day. They first went uh, to, uh, to her parents' house and thereafter left from there with her mother. Uh, in fact, the NIA believes that at this point in time, uh, there were several people who were okay. radicalized by Riyaz Mohammed after his return from Pakistan. All right.